All right, so uploading a product to Shopify, um, we're gonna have this triggered by a task magic action um, on the app side. So if we have, uh, we can imagine the trigger coming from any other app that we have, and then we're gonna send this data via webhook uh, to task magic. So I already added some dummy data here. We have the name, description, an image, and the price. So what this is going to do, if I check for new events, I'll see that I should have this information here. We're going to go ahead and record on my Shopify site and set up the rest of this automation. So once we get here, the first thing we can do is record a click of the products tab. Let's confirm and then click that. And then we can record another click. Um, oops, I click type. We'll click add product. And then let's play that step. And then we can record our variable steps, which is going to be let's do product name, confirm. Let's do, and this is just so I can remember and change it in a second. Let's do description, confirm. And then let's record typing our price, I'll do 50, and then, oh, I didn't realize they have add from URL, how's that work? That might be convenient, let's do that one. So we'll record, instead of uploading, we can click here, and then click here. And, this is going to be a little bit easier than the file side, I guess. That's okay. Um, probably because it wasn't a real image. So, uh, and then the last step is going to be clicking the save button. So again, even though we need to scroll down to see this button, um, because this exists already on the page, we don't need to add a scroll down step or anything to get down here. But this is all we need to record on the automation. Um, we can add these as variables during the recording or we can do it afterwards. Um, but this is really all we need to wrap things up is make sure the right variables go in the right places, which just means clicking this or adding an at symbol for whatever you typed. I'll type price. And then um, here we clicked add from URL. So we're gonna type the URL here. Um, I forgot what that is. Oh, that's the image. And then that is it. So what this will do is whenever this webhook has some data, um, which we already selected, I guess I can just click play steps. It's going to go to Shopify, click products, click add product, and then enter the information that came in from our webhook. We can always check what came in by clicking this data in section and see that here. But if we come back here, we will see it doing its thing on the Shopify side. So we cl should click, I think it's, we either enter the price, yeah, the price, and then we enter the URL afterwards. That was quite a bit to type. All right, so that's a cool way to add some products. Um, I guess they don't support SVGs on the trial plan. But besides that, everything else is good. So let me know how you guys use this. Um, I think this is a cool thing. You can scrape drop shipping sites and then add emerging products to your store, whatever you want to do. Um, I know Shopify, I don't know how well it's improved lately, but there are some limitations on uh, like what products you could easily import. So maybe this is a good workaround.